Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to the program. Today, I saw this blog post by Justine Tunney, uh, who has made a pledge implementation for Linux. And pledge, of course, is an OpenBSD sandboxing mechanism that we also have in Serenity. Uh, and it's sort of a very, very simple mechanism. If you're not familiar, I encourage you to go and look it up. But um, when I saw this post today, uh, I really liked seeing what Justine had done to get it onto Linux. And in particular, uh, there's this tool that she made called pledge.com, which is sort of a, a testing utility or a command line utility uh, where you can specify a set of pledge promises on the command line and then a command to run with that promise set. And this is such an awesome command, I thought. And why don't we have this awesome command? So <laughs> what we're going to do today is we're going to implement this awesome command uh, for Serenity. Although we'll probably just call it pledge. I don't know what, what's up with the uh, dot .com. Um, but uh, yes, so that's the idea today that we're going to make something uh, that allows us to run an arbitrary um, arbitrary command with a specific set of, of like sandboxing pledge promises. Uh, and then the use case for that is something like, imagine that you download an executable from the web and you want to run it on your Serenity machine, uh, but you don't necessarily trust it. Well, what you could do is you could say something like uh, pledge dash P, um, I don't know, Stadio, our path, untrusted executable and it would run the executable but it would only be able to do standard io and read uh, open and read files it wouldn't be able to create files write to files connect to internet servers local sockets anything like that so uh, kind of a powerful idea and i don't know why we didn't think of it earlier <laughs> so shout outs to uh, justine for the great idea Anyway, let's uh, let's uh, steal this great idea. So um, let's see. First thing we're going to do is we're just going to make a utility for this. We'll just call it pledge. Uh, and I think we can just, let's see. I guess I have to add it. It's been a while since I added a new command line utility to Serenity. Uh, da, 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 da. Where are the P utilities? Gotta make sure these stay alphabetized or um, or those who, who care about alphabetical order will be upset. Okay. And then... Anyway. Uh, I'm just trying to get rid of this warning here but maybe it'll take a while. Ah, oh, there it goes. Serenity main. Okay. So, uh, how should this work? I mean, it should basically be uh, taking the dash p argument and then that contains a promise set. And then anything that comes after, I guess, is, yeah, let's just follow that same basic idea. So you say pledge dash P and then a string with your pledges or promises. Uh, and then just everything else is the command. So uh, let's see if I remember how to use args parser. So args parser add option. Okay, so we'll have to do something like promises. Promises. Um, and then what comes here? Wow, that's a big tooltip. I can't, I can't read all of that. <laughs> uh, let's see. So first the string, and then help string long name, short name, value name. Okay. I'm not gonna remember all of that, but. Let's 
say promises dash p hmm oh here we go some inlay hints finally I don't know what that bit, what's up with sea lion that tooltip was not super useful <laughs> uh, okay and then can we just say like how do you tell um, args parser that your everything else is sort of positional argument here? Positional argument command. Oh, and oh, I see. So you give it a vector of strings. Got it. Yeah. Um, so we can we can do something like this, I guess. Command. Yeah. Command to execute. Name. Command. Required, yes. That makes sense. OK. Uh, args parser parse arguments. OK. And then we are going to try to pledge the uh, string that you provide, so libcore system. I guess the dash p is also required because otherwise, what's the point of what's the point of the command if you're not passing one of these things? Yes, yes, required. This is not good because. Wait, how do I say that something is required then? Option hide mode. Oh, I guess I can't say that an option is required. I see. Only positional arguments can be required. Yeah, fair enough. OK, so now we want to try to pledge. So core system pledge uh, the promises. And actually, so the way pledge works is that you pass in two sets of promises. These become your sort of sandbox restrictions. Uh, and the first set takes effect immediately. Uh, and the second set takes effect once you exec into a new executable. So uh, in this case, we actually want to use the second parameter because we want these uh, parameters to take effect once we switch to the, um, the command executable that you provided. Um, we don't want to do anything right now. So I guess I can just pass a empty string view. Does that work? Um, yeah, I just want to pass in like a null string view like that. So it's probably okay. Mm hmm. And then I guess if this doesn't work, so there are many reasons it might not work. Like you could have a typo um, and the kernel will reject invalid um, promise names. Or uh, if you try to well, I guess in this case, since it's exec promises, um, it's going to accept any valid string of promises is going to be accepted because they don't take effect right away. Uh, but if we were doing something that would take effect right away, um, the kernel will also check that you're not trying to give yourself privileges that you don't already have. Like the only thing you're allowed to do is give up privileges or give up some capabilities. Uh, that's sort of how the mechanism works. Um, well, actually, I suppose if you if you pass if you call pledge more than once passing exec promises, then uh, those checks will be applied to the exec promises. So you can't give yourself exec promises that you don't already have either. You can only subtract promises. So um, either way, we are just gonna like if if something goes wrong, we're just gonna log. Um, we'll say like pledge. 
result error. I think we can probably just do that. Okay, otherwise we should be good to execute. So then do we have core system exec? Yes, we do. So that will be command zero followed by do you take more arguments core system exec? Yes, you do. Arguments. Ooh, span of string view. So I guess we can just pass in command span. Uh, core system search in path. Yes, do search in path, but we're not going to pass in a custom environment because we're not that fancy. Uh, and I guess we have to try this. Actually, we can just use try here as well. There's no need to do manual handling now that I think about it. Okay. Let's see if, if we can get this thing working. Um, set up and run. Okay, so let's just try the basics here. Stdio ls ls has crashed because it's missing our path. Okay, as expected, you need our path to ls. It also needs prot exec. Um, we need prot exec because of the dynamic loader. Oh, interesting. That's interesting. Operation not permitted. Hmm. Wait, what? <laughs> Pledge operation not permitted. Wait, LS is X. Um, ls48, wait, so the executable becomes, oh, right, yeah, 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 so the same executable becomes ls, and then it exits because it tries to pledge something that's not allowed, so I guess ls probably contains a set of pledges already, uh, because in Serenity, most of our programs have a set of pledges, yeah, you can see here. So it is now being rejected because it tries to pledge TTY, but we have already constrained the set of initial pledges or initial promises. So we have to add TTY to it and boom, it runs. That is really cool. <laughs> so um, I guess that's the basic idea. And uh, what is something where Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm just thinking like you could totally run a port through this, for example. So let's see if we can get a port. Uh, what's a what's a nice port that we could mess around with? How about NASM? Let's get NASM. I hope it doesn't have 10,000 dependencies. No, it looks self-contained. Should be pretty fast to build an assembler hopefully hmm all right here we go so let's see if we can run uh, nasm with a constrained set of uh, pledge promises Hmm, pledge NASM. Okay, so now um, we are not, yeah, right. So here we're just transparently running it, but we're not actually updating the set. Uh, but if we pass something in, stdio, it fails because it needs our path. Yeah, and the dynamic linker. So that's still on our side. Like we need our path and prot exec, I think, in order for the dynamic linker to work. Yeah, 
and then let's try to actually create a file. So uh, let's see, how do you use NASM again? It's been a while. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so let's see if we can actually compile that. And we can't because we need WPATH. Cool. So we're not allowed to write out the file because we don't have WPATH. So let's add that. Still not cool because we also need CPATH, which is um, allow file creation. So we have to give ourselves that as well. And once we do that, we can, well, that that's not, <laughs> that's not the right way to open that. Yep, it actually assembled. That is super cool. Um, I kind of like it. So um, one thing that Justine did not touch in this uh, pledge thing was unveil, which is sort of the companions is called to pledge. Uh, I think the reason stated in this blog post, um, the blog post is linked in the video description, by the way, do check it out. Um, the reason given is that there aren't, there just aren't the right primitives on Linux to, to be able to implement unveil. Uh, but we have unveil. And if you're not familiar with unveil, uh, the way it works is that you tell it a list of files or paths that this program is allowed to access uh, and in which ways it may access those files. So you can say something like, oh, this program is allowed to access Etsy password, but only for reading, not for writing. Uh, and then if you try to access it in some other way or you try to access a file that you did not say you were going to access, then uh, it is rejected by the kernel. So I think we could easily add unveil to our command. Um, so what if we just did? Um, let's see. So um, it could be like an optional option dash u dash u uh, director. Can we have multiple dash u's? Hmm. Size t values. I guess it would need to be a vector of string. Or no? Hmm. Now, we're just, I, I don't think we have a way to say, like, dash you this, dash you that, dash you that. Um, we're going to have to take it as a single string, uh, and then we'll split that up. It's a bit janky, but um, let's, let's just roll with it for now. Um, paths to unveil, let's say. says unveils um okay and then how will this work let's see so we would do something like for auto unveil takes effect immediately though hmm oh wait an unveil does not Wait, do we actually preserve unveil across exec? I forget these things. So in the exec syscall, where we do the exec, um, unveil data. Yeah, we just clear the veil when we exec. Huh. OK, yeah, so that's actually non-trivial. So maybe we should just leave that one alone and then uh, think about it later um, because it would be pretty tricky because you got to set everything up so that you can access um, all the dynamic libraries, right? Um, because we, if we have a list of unveils, we would need to like unveil libc, libcore, all of the, um, 
all of the SO files. Um, and also we currently don't have a way to do that because it gets cleared. Yeah, okay, let's ignore that for now. <laughs> um, we'll come back to that one. Uh, because I'm already happy with what we have here. It's it's just a tremendously nice little utility. So let's go ahead and put a little copyright in here. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Um, yes. And did we make the help output look nice? I just got to double check that. Pledge help list of promises. I mean, yeah, list of pledge promises. Space separated list of pro pledge promises, let's say. Yeah. Um, that's good, though. I like it. So let's go ahead and commit that. And I want to try it on something else. Hmm. Like, what about a GUI program? Like, let's try to run the about program. Uh, okay, so in order to get this working, you would have to say like, well, stdio our path prod exec just for the dynamic linker. And then now, of course, the issue becomes that about already has a big set of promises, not that big, actually, receive file descriptor, send file descriptor, our path and Unix. So receive, send, Unix, and then you're good. You can go. Hmm. Cool. Very, very cool. This um, is kind of an interesting mechanism for, like, if you wanted to uh, pledge a program that does not use pledge yet and you want to figure out what's the right set of pledges, this gives you kind of a... Uh, easy way to prototype, test out stuff. You could also use this on ports. In fact, this is kind of a, an interesting seamless way to use pledge on ports without um, actually trying to put pledge into the port itself. So you could sort of at least um, like when you launch a port, you can launch it with all, an already restricted set. Anyway, utilities. Add pledge utility um, for launching a command um, sandboxed command. Uh, this uh, great idea. Uh, let's see. Um, inspired by. Let's link to uh, Justine. This uh, new command allows you to execute to, to uh, run any command with a uh, with an initial set of ledge promises. Note that uh, dynamically linked executables won't be able to bootstrap without at least sedio our path prod exec. Cool. Yes. I think this turned out very, very cool. Uh, and I'm really happy with how easy it was, how how obviously a good idea it is. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. Did I our path product exec ID? And then that's all you need for ID, I guess. Yeah, because it only does Stradio R path. So interesting use case for that is like you download an executable and you don't know what it does, but you can run it like this and then you make sure that it's not able to connect to the internet, for example. Uh, so you know that um, you're sort of limiting its ability to backdoor you, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, it's cool. Very cool. Very, very um, I was very happy to read this blog post. I thought it was such a lovely thing to read about. Anyways, this will be the end of today's video. So if you made it this far, thank you for watching, for hanging out. Uh, and I hope you saw something interesting. And shout outs to Justine. Check out her blog. And I will see you next time. Bye.